Welcome back to another iDoctor video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the charging port on the SMT500 and SMT505. That's the Tab A7. It's got this really common charging problem. It's just got some substandard solder on the charging port, so we're going to replace that. The worst bit about this repair is removing this screen. I'll be using a suction cup, a little razor blade like this Dorco blade, some isopropyl alcohol, and a plastic guitar pick to get it open. To start off the repair, place your suction cup on the screen just like that. And then you're just gonna like lift back a little bit on this camera area, add a few drops of isopropyl alcohol, and lift up. You can see I've got it on the hot plate here. This is set to 85 degrees C. Don't forget this part. Obviously you need heat to open this one up. It's stuck down really well. Very similar to Apple iPads as well. Once you've got it lifted up a little bit, you'll be able to insert your guitar pick a little way just like that, and just slowly start removing that screen, cutting away the adhesive as you go around. You just wanna really take your time with this. If you find that there's some resistance, add some more isopropyl alcohol, let it soak in for a minute, and then keep running that guitar pick through. The adhesive is quite thick here, and it probably feels like you're gonna break it, but if you're using the suction cup to lift, and slide through at the same time. It should be fairly easy. When you get to the corner, go again with the alcohol, run it down there. The adhesive isn't as, th as thick here, and you can see that it is separating slowly. The heat mat is the easiest way to do this every single time, 85 degrees. Leave it on for 10 minutes. But if you don't have a heat mat, a heat gun or a hairdryer will do the same thing. You probably just have to keep heating it up, working your way through a little bit at a time. Hairdryer is going to be a bit more difficult, but you will achieve the same sort of effect. We're back on this corner here, so we'll add some more isopropyl alcohol. And I'll probably move the suction cup at this point so that we're on this side now and just lifting it up. The aim, of course, is not to crack it because these screens are expensive to replace. And I recommend if you're not confident in this repair, take it to a professional because they'll likely take liability if they break the screen. And if they don't, you wanna find somebody that will. It's not our fault that the manufacturers make these so difficult to open and repair, but with the right tools and equipment, it's definitely doable. Just really take your time. So now we've got this final edge. You have to work all four edges on this and it's more about like cutting through the adhesive than it is about prying off the screen when you're on this edge so this is the edge opposite the charging port or the the top edge i think you want to be careful not to insert the pick too far there is only a thin bit of adhesive holding that down if you can peel it away that's even better because there is the cable for the display just hiding under there so just be careful not to damage that that cable you'll probably get green lines or like LCD damage if you if you go too far in there so just be careful on the, the very top if you can like I say pull out the adhesive where it's possible and it looks like we've managed to successfully remove this one now the cable connects for this one somewhere around this area here from memory I might be wrong though bear with me so I'm going to lift it again around the camera area and we're going to sort of like flip it that way to remove it. It's best to leave it on if you can so you can see the display and make sure that you're not busting it. Because if you break it, you know, you know you're going to be replacing it rather than sort of holding on and waiting to find out if you bust it. We'll turn it off in a minute. As you can see there's bits where we have to cut through and chop out. Once it's sort of freed, you'll find it'll open up like that. You have to peel it off that back edge, so peel it away. And then it flips over, you can see where that cable is. And then you've got the cable, what I was telling you to be aware of. That's where the LCD connects to the motherboard and all the very fine cables down there. Now, let's take this over to the workbench and get it sorted. There's two ways that you can turn it off. You can turn it off on the with the buttons and on the screen, or you can just loosen off this screw here, store it safely for later, 
then remove the shield and use a plastic tool to disconnect the battery just like that now the device is turned off and power is isolated from it meaning we're not going to do any damage when we're disconnecting things like the screen there's another shield just to the right or left depending which way you're looking at of the battery connector and that is held down by these two black screws here remove those two tweezers to remove the shield store them safely for reinstallation later and then take your plastic pick again and disconnect the screen and that means that we can remove this screen and store it safely for reinstallation my workbench is a mess today i apologize we're very very busy now there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 crosshead screws to remove before we can get to the charging port, which is a ridiculous amount of screws. But what we're going to do is just crack on. I might time lapse this or speed it up a little bit when I'm editing. But go ahead and remove all 19 screws that hold down this shield down at the bottom. Once they're all removed, it'll become apparent why we're taking them all out. It's kind of ridiculous just for a very small charging port down here. But again, I don't design these devices, I just repair them. And don't forget, if you do like repair content like this, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. And if you're having a go at this repair yourself, let me know how you get on in those comments below. I love hearing your feedback. I don't like it so much when somebody caps locks saying that they broke the fo phone or tablet because of instructions what I've given which is another reminder that this is for educational purposes only and I accept no liability for any damage that you might cause to your device while following my instructions with all those screws removed we're going to take some tweezers now and we're just going to sort of lift up this shield and it just pops away like that and we can see that our charging port is just down here. It's just secured with this one flex cable here. Pop that out like that. Now to get under this, you wanna use some tweezers. And if your device is still warm, the adhesive will be nice and easy to peel up and it should just pop out like that. It's stuck down at the back. What I always find is that these plastic bits are never included in the new part. So I'm gonna pop that just down there. And then this one, I don't know if I'll be able to show you how poor these are let's see if we can get in focus but basically these solder joints here are just shocking from factory and they always fail you'll know because it, you get a wobbly charging port the crap throw that away into your electronical waste or recycle it according to your local rules and the part that you're going to want is a genuine samsung charging port we give 12 months warranty on these, this goes, the long edge goes on the top and then the short edge around it. So pop that back on and then just reinstall it into position down at the bottom here. Right, now that that's installed, we just need to connect this connector here. Just push down on it. If it's in position, it should fold nicely where it belongs. And then we're gonna go ahead and realign the shield. Make sure that it goes in the right way that it was meant to. Got a bit mixed up there and just press it down all over. The screws will pull it into place if it's not clipped in properly. I know for sure that I will speed this part up, but just go ahead and reinstall all 19 of the screws that you removed. Because I've run out of things to talk over, and yeah, we'll just, we'll just speed through this bit. If you removed them, you know where they're going back to. If you find that you've got screws left once you've installed them all, just go over and check that there's no holes without screws or if you've not got enough screws you better get on your knees and start looking on the floor and finding your missing ones you could reinstall the screen and test it but for the sake of the video i'm going to go ahead and clean up this chassis ready for some fresh adhesive to be installed the easiest way to do this is with one of these little number 17 exacto blades and you're just going to because this is plastic you do need to be careful not to carve the plastic out so just run it gently over this edge making sure that you remove all the old adhesive or at least as much as you possibly can. It can be awkward to remove the adhesive, but just take your time. Don't stab the battery 
and don't use acetone on this one because like I said it's a plastic bezel on this so you don't want to it'll just cause it to melt there's a company called Tessa what make this adhesive remover and if you squirt that onto a clean room wipe it should make it a little bit easier to get the stubborn adhesive removed be careful of course around that front camera area if you get some liquids on that then it will cause it to be a little bit blurry or, or can affect it so just make sure that you don't put that in a de uh, in adhesive remover or alcohol whatever you're using i'll just use some fine tweezers to get around that last edge now just down this where the charging port is get that nice and clean and then that's just about it for this part in terms of the adhesive that we use I'm going to be using 5mm Tessa tape. Very tempting to just slap a load of B7000 or T7000 on something like this. But it's bad for the next repair guy. Not what we do here. So for the tape, I'm going to lay the screen face down on the workbench. And I'm going to cut some long strips of Tessa tape. And I'm going to place it just on these edges of the screen like that. Snip them off either end. And then we'll cut them to fit once we've got the rest of them on. There are adhesives available from the manufacturer for these, if you can get hold of them. I always find that they're out of stock though. Just when you get to this camera area, make sure that you don't cover up the camera hole or the sensor hole. So just two strips of tape either side. Cut it off on the edge. And then finally, we've just got this bottom edge, which is a lot thinner. So I'm just gonna sort of slide the adhesive underneath those cables, lay it on top, and then I'm just gonna run the back of the tweezers along the edge just to make sure that it sits flat, because we're gonna have to do some trimming on that one. So just use your the razor blade to trim it down. And then we're just gonna take the razor blade and run it along the edge of the glass, just to chop it off flush. Now that we've got it all taped up, we're just gonna bring the rest of the device back over here Make sure that the battery is still disconnected and then reconnect the display connector. Make sure that it's pushed down all the way. We can pop the little shield back on top of it and re-secure those two screws that held it down. Now we can reconnect the battery. Just do a quick test to make sure that everything's working okay. I've lost a fucking screw. Then place the shield on top just here, make sure it's the right way around. And re-secure that screw into place. Now we want to peel off the back of the adhesive. Just be careful not to mess up that cable. Now we can flip the screen over and re-secure it back into place. Because we're not using any, any glues, this is ready to use straight away. We don't have to clamp it. We don't have to put elastic bands around it. It's ready to rock. And this time when we plug it into power, we know that we're charging. That just about completes this repair. There's a nice plate of food on the background. Thank you for watching and see you next time.